I've always wanted to see a volcano. And that is the main reason why I decided to travel to Indonesia, as there are over 120 volcanoes in this country, and 80 of them I consider is still active. 45 of those active volcanoes are located on Java Island, which I've been exploring this month. So I took a train to the city of Probolingo, which is located quite close to the main volcano national park in East Java, and prepared for an epic adventure. Jump. <laughs> okay, you can do this. Okay. Very much. Well, the volcano adventure starts here, right on the train station. Probolingo is a small town located in two hours' drive from the Bromo Tengir Semeru National Park, housing five volcanoes and I decided to book a room here, leave my luggage in it, rent a motorcycle and then, early in the morning, take a ride to the volcano on my own to enjoy the most stunning sunrise in Indonesia. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Hello. I booked two nights in your place. Just a base, just a base to spend a few hours before early start. Hello, sir. Mickey, Mickey, yeah, Mike. It's a little bit dark, but the place must be somewhere here. Excuse me, this is Rent Motorbike Master Rizal? This place. Oh, motor. Oh, motor, yes. Motor, motor. Not you, not you. Okay, okay. Hello. Yes, I arrived to your shop. We agreed to meet around 6 p.m. Uh, I send you all messages. We, we talked just one hour ago about motorcycle. I had a chat with this guy while I was on a train and he said, yeah, 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 I will be, I'll be waiting for you. 5.36 p.m. And now they say, what can we do for you? I'm sorry. So I chat on WhatsApp with you? Yeah. Okay, okay. Because somebody asked, uh, what can we do for you? I think, oh, what's happened? <laughs> I'm sorry, because I'm still studying this. Ah, you speak very well. <laughs> I'm very happy. My brother called me. Ah, okay. Hello, hello. By the way, where do you come from? Uh, Russia. Russia. Yeah. You come here alone? Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the bike. Yeah. Okay.
I know, I know, I know how to drive. I have bike. Maybe you can test drive. All right, all right. Huh? Your name? Mickey. 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 No, Mickey Mosh. No. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice bike. Yeah. Do you have helmet? Oh, that's heavy. Right? Heavy. Very heavy. No, not, not heavy, not heavy. Cameraman, operator. Oh, this is good. This is good. All right, all right. Yeah, this is it. This is good. Can see anything at I think night? It's not perfect from the sea. Uh huh. Yeah, they are a little bit. Uh, yeah. Oh, this one is better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good at night. At night, so at night when it's dark, you can you can see what what's happening. Yeah, I was I was fighting with tiger. <laughs> okay, yeah. So how much is gonna cost me? How much? Two hundred. Two hundred. Yes. Uh huh. Jaminan edikat tidak deposit. Two hundred and your passport uh, put no, here. No passport edikat. Uh, ID card. I have I have my I have my driving license like like my my, my normal real driving license. You, if you want, you can take a photo photo of passport yeah. because 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 uh, passport is like I just cannot give to anybody. Uh, no problem. You you uh, passport uh, to picture uh -huh. deposit yeah? Deposit. Yeah. How much? Satu seratus dollar. One hundred dollar deposit. Uh huh. Okay. 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 It's reasonable. Mister, can I take picture with you? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Master Rizalies.
No. Cool. Very cold. <laughs> How much is ticket? Uh, yeah. 32. 32. 32. Okay. Yes. Oh, cannot feel. <laughs> yeah. Stay here, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pretty cool ride. <laughs> Reminded me my recent trek in Nepal, Mari Himal trek. I felt quite freezing. However, here in the parking lot, it feels kind of okay. Yeah, especially after a cup of hot tea, because here you can buy hot tea for 5,000 uh, rupees. Parking cost also 5,000 and toilet cost 5,000. <laughs> so don't forget to bring some cash because <sighs> there are no ATMs around. Anyway, I left my uh, homestay at 2.30 a.m. and arrived at 4, so the road took around one hour and a half. I lost a couple times <laughs> because it was pretty smoky or cloudy or foggy. I still don't know what was this fog. Maybe it was smoke from, from the volcano. And there are so many of these jeeps on the road, like dozens, maybe hundreds of them. And they are still coming. They are coming very soon, I believe so. Anyway, guys, I have parked bike and now we need to walk up to the viewpoint. Let's try to find a little bit less crowded place. Uh, nice horse. <laughs> and of course, as soon as you leave parking area, it is completely dark, which is why you better bring some flashlight. I mean, if you don't have phone, Hello, hello. Hello. Say hi. No, no, no. I'm good. Thank you. Hello, hello. <laughs> of course, it's not that quiet here. It's a commercial spot. People are selling stuff. Drinks, mama soup, instant noodles and water. And there are some people on top of this platform, but obviously not as many people as at the highest viewpoint where all of those, those jeeps are coming. And luckily I'm here on a weekday, which is why there are less local tourists. However, I still want to take a little walk in the jungle, in the, in the jungles to find a bit more ambient, quiet, tranquil place to enjoy the sunrise, which is coming really soon. I already can see the shape of the volcano, how it's, how it's still pretty dark. <laughs> coffee, coffee, Barapa. Five? Ten. Ten. Yeah. Oh, expensive coffee. Very delicious. Enak, enak, Jem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, coffee, okay. please. Cappuccino, black coffee, Black coffee, black coffee. Yeah. Sugar, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Enak, enak. Ani kopi luwak, mai? Luwak? Kopi luwak. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Very hot. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Terima kasih. Okay. Okay. Follow the head. Not cold. No. Nepal, Nepal, Nepal cold. Indonesia not cold. Stamina very good. You strong, I'm Lucia. Lucia, Lucia cold. <laughs>
<laughs> so many. You sleep here? Wow. Yeah. Amazing, amazing place to wake up. I climbed a little bit higher and there are some guys with tents and no one else here. And the atmosphere is truly breathtaking. This is the sea of clouds, this caldera covered with thick fog. You can see anything real, real sea of fog, just like in Pichabun. <laughs> and there are five volcanoes in front of us, Mount Bromo and four others, and one of them is smoking. So I think it is time to fly a little bit. Absolutely fascinating experience. Just how to describe this feeling, being, being so close to powerful nature. However, it's not the end yet. Now I'm going to cross this sea of sand on my motorcycle and visit this volcano itself. I'm going to hike up to the crater, but toilet first because this coffee <laughs> is forcing me to come back to the parking lot and use toilet for 5,000 rupees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kapa <laughs> Yada. Exactly, exactly what I was thinking. Kapa <laughs> Yada. And the other one is already gone from the viewpoint, but viewpoint looks pretty. Just one hour ago, this area was filled with people. It was quite noisy here, but not anymore. How did I come here at night? Okay, okay.
Oh, toilet, toilet, no coffee. <laughs> oh, no more coffee, toilet, toilet. It's nice to see that they actually clean this area every morning. Toilet, toilet, toilet. 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 Okay, I go first. Coffee, coffee. Oh. Coffee, coffee. Terima kasih. Sama -sama. It's so beautiful and quiet right now. Everyone's gone and I don't really feel that I want to leave. The temperature is rising and fog is disappearing in the caldera. And I can see some cars are driving around and there is a like, parking lot with all of these jeeps. And only now I realize how huge this area is it's just gigantic the cars are really really tiny from far away fantastic the nature is incredible all right time to go back to to the motorcycle and drive to the crater oh no seems like some visitors didn't make it to the toilet or maybe they just didn't want to pay 5,000 rupees. I have just realized I'm not the big fan of riding on sand. <laughs> this is sand, right? Or volcanic ash. What else could it be? And there are many, many, many people coming and saying, Mr. Photo, Mr. Photo, Mr. Photo. <laughs> I waited for a while on that hill where I've enjoyed the sunrise. Because in the morning, all of the jeeps, uh, almost instantly after the sunrise, they are moving here, which is why. Hello, Mr. Photo, Photo, Mr. <laughs> in the morning, all of the jeeps are moving to this area, which is why here is real traffic jam. Even though it is a weekday, I can't even imagine how does it look on weekend. So I waited till 9 a.m. and still there are quite many jeeps, many people, many vendors selling stuff, snacks and water, many horsemen offering you a ride, ride to the crater. Yeah. Seriously, I could have come here on the bike. <laughs> oh, 
I've been walking for about a kilometer. <laughs> and this gentleman here on the bike, and I can see there are a few more bikes. I don't know why everyone is parking in this area where there is some kind of bazaar. But yeah, there are a few bikes. I don't know, is it allowed to drive here? Maybe this is some sort of conservation area of the national park. Hmm. <laughs> but luckily it's not afternoon time yet, so there is still this cool wind, so you don't feel burning hot like in the afternoon time. Are you having fun? Is it good? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> but probably not for, for this little horse. <laughs> Which can't even find some grass to eat in this volcanic ash. No, there is some grass actually. By the way, the entry to this area, to the village, was 32,000 Indonesian rupee to the viewpoint, which is not much, probably around 70, 75 Thai baht, probably two dollars US. However, entering to this area of national park is almost uh, 10 times more expensive. I paid 220,000 uh, Indonesian rupees for a ticket of foreigner. And it's a weekday, because on weekend the ticket is 320,000 Indonesian rupees. And it's still all right. Because here, this is the natural beauty, natural attraction. You can spend some time here. Because, for example, in Yogyakarta, <laughs> I still can forget. A ticket for a foreigner on a weekend, or, or on a weekday, was 360,000 Indonesian rupees, which is around 850 Thai baht. 25 bucks to see a temple with a million other people, and uh, I probably spent here only 20 minutes. Uh, so, if you'd ask me to choose only one place, I would have chosen only, only this national park. Here you really can enjoy the nature, this beauty, this magic, the power of Mother Nature. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Was it fun? Was it good? Good! <laughs> so funny. <laughs> funny ladies. Hello. Oh, smell of poo poo. Smell of horses poo poo. <laughs> Zorro. But this is definitely man made. Nature is talented, but not that talented. It would have been a miracle. Oh, these horses are really enjoying here. Just like me. Hello. Hello, sir. How much for water? Aqua, Barapa. 10,000. 10, oh, expensive water, just like in Jakarta. Terima <laughs> kasih. Just a little bit more. I honestly don't know why does it feel so exhausting. Is it because I didn't sleep much, just two and a half hours last night? Or is it because of sulfur uh, in the air? Or is it because of horses pooping? The smell of horses pooping? Uh, probably all together. <laughs> It looks absolutely crazy. All of these evaporations, this smoke, a very strong smell of sulfur. 
At least I think it is so far. What else could it be? Crazy. Walking on the edge between life and death, because obviously if you walk 50 meters in this direction, <coughs> you are done. Yeah, this is the smell of rotten eggs. Bah. Very, very strong smell. <coughs> of course, it's not going to help me, but I know you guys love... <laughs> you love when I'm wearing some mask. <laughs> Hello, Jakarta. <sighs> oh, it's white on the top, but over there at the bottom, it's yellow. I would even say it's brown. Check it out, right there. Oh, awful yellow smoke. For the past 200 years, Mount Bromo erupted around 50 times or 55 times. And the last one was in 2016. And this is the result of it. Slopes are covered with these ridges. Lava leaking down on the ground. Can you hear this noise? This noise is coming from there. From, from the inner world, from the inner earth. terrifying this is really terrifying what nature is capable of And to be honest, I'm still not sure was it necessary to see the crater so close, I mean, to come to this hole, smoking hole. 
because some things are more beautiful when you look at them from a distance. So sun rays was amazing. Oh, when you are getting closer, you really feel terrified with all of this smoke, with smell, with all of this dust. <laughs> My clothes are completely destroyed. Everything is so dirty. Camera, my drone, microphone, oh. I have volcanic dust even deep inside. But life is better when you have some chicken. I have returned to the camp because I feel terribly, terribly tired and incredibly sleepy. <laughs> I was worried I will fall asleep. I'm gonna fall asleep on the road, right on the bike. Ah, but it was absolutely amazing experience and fantastic journey. It was really worth it, worth getting up so early in the morning. It wasn't comfortable, it wasn't relaxing, it wasn't something like relaxation on beautiful sandy beaches of Bali. However, Bali is not that far from here. You can come to the East Java on scooter from Bali. This journey was rather unexpected, unexpected, shocking, uh, mesmerizing, terrifying. <laughs> Altogether, so many emotions. At first you admire in this beauty uh, of the volcano from the distance and then you're getting closer and you're hearing this noise coming from the inner earth. All of this smoke, the smell. <laughs> Standing on this, on the edge, on the edge of the crater. This endless pit to nowhere, crazy. Of course, it was possible to book a tour, to rent a jeep with driver at any tour company in this city, in Surabaya, here, or even at any hotel. However, I wanted to be more free and uh, enjoy a little bit longer. It was just crazy, inhaling all this smoke, sulfur, sulfur, sulfur air coming from the inner earth. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Hit the like button and I'll see you in the next episode pretty soon, somewhere else in Indonesia, on or <laughs> somewhere in Southeast Asia. Bye-bye. I gotta go sleep. <laughs> <laughs>